When it comes to playing and recording in time, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Luckily, GarageBand for Mac has an incredibly useful built-in feature that will help you fix any timing errors in your MIDI software instrument tracks. Listen to how badly I messed up the recording of this MIDI track. Now I have a couple of options of how I can fix this awful timing. With the offending software instrument track selected, I need to open the editor window. I can do this by clicking on the pencil icon in the top left of the GarageBand screen, by clicking on view in GarageBand's toolbar and selecting show editor, or by hitting the keyboard shortcut E. If I want to have the timing for every note in the track quantized or corrected, I just need to select every region in that track by clicking on my MIDI software instrument tracks track header. Then if I make sure the region tab in the editor window is selected, I can choose a note value that I want to use to quantize the notes in the regions I've selected. Note that you may still have to jump in and do a little bit of manual editing to some notes after quantizing. Here's how that quantized recording sounds compared to the previously dreadfully out of time original. If you're only having trouble with a couple or even a single MIDI note, you can fix that with quantization as well. Again, with the software instrument track selected and the editor window open, I can click on a single MIDI note or drag and select multiple notes to highlight them. I need to make sure the notes tab is selected in the editor window and any note value I choose will then affect the highlighted MIDI notes only. This can be useful if there are only a few really out of time notes in your recording. Personally, I find myself using this single note quantization most often on the first note that I've recorded. There is nothing more irritating than having the first note of your software instrument recording not trigger when playing back, because the timing is just a tiny bit out. Selecting that first wayward note and quantizing it is a quick and easy way to fix this issue. Again, with the editor window open and the notes tab selected, Highlight that first note and quantize away. Regardless of whether you're quantizing an entire region or just a couple of notes, working out what note value to choose when quantizing is as simple as matching up to the amount of beats in a bar, though if you're not sure of this off the top of your head, a little bit of experimentation will get you there as well. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, if you found it helpful please give that like button a good hard slap, I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you want to find out how to fix the timing of your audio recordings, watch this next.